So unfortunately the boat is wrapped up and today we got a review of something I can't use yet. But I can't wait for the spring to use it. We're gonna look at the Epic Batteries dual purpose deep cycle cranking battery. So stick around, mitts level up bassin, and we're gonna take this inside. I'll show you what we got. So if you've been around the channel, you've seen me and you see me do reviews on other Epic Batteries. The first one I did was this guy right here. This is the 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. This sits in my boat, controls all the electronics, clean, straight power. Uh, it eliminated a lot of issues with my graphs and so on and so forth. You've seen that in a review. The other one is this guy right here. Ugh. This beast is the 36 volt, 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery. And this thing is my favorite. It controls the power for my Lowrance Ghost, 36 volt trolling motor, power for days. Both have the Bluetooth app behind them. You can monitor the vitals, the state of charge, and just about everything. Today's review is a little bit different. This is another Epic battery, but there's a lot more controversy with this one. Here it is. This is the 12 volt, 120 amp hour lithium iron phosphate, dual purpose, deep cycle cranking battery from Epic Batteries. Okay, that's a mouthful, and this battery is way more than just a battery. Batteries now have so much technology in them that it's, it, it's crazy to think that what we were using in our cars for a starting battery has morphed into lithium batteries and deep cycle batteries and the technology in these. I have to say, I've been doing a lot of work with Epic Batteries, working with support, talking to a few people there, and they are an unbelievable group and they will do anything and everything they can to help provide supports. We're gonna dive into a few of the features on this, but I wanna also use this video as a discussion board. This battery has a lot of controversy behind it because people who have these bass boats with these, you know, these motors are tens of thousands of dollars. They all have alternators in them. The alternators will backfeed and charge the batteries and everybody's been using the standard lead acid or AGM batteries for their cranking batteries for years. Everybody's worried about the manufacturer's warranty and the alternator pushing a current to the battery, the battery not handling it or not charging or backfeeding and causing the motor to void its warranty. Shortly after we do this kind of look over, I'm gonna bring up Epic Batteries website and I want to show you some of the stuff that's right on their details page. But first off, I, I'm amazed at how much technology is in this battery as I said. I'll show some screenshots right here while I talk about it, but on the top of the battery you have a state of charge meter. This thing is hit the button and you know your status, how much juice is in your battery. It's got an on and off power switch, so that's a great cutoff. You know exactly what it's doing and when it's on and when it's off. The other thing the on and off does, which is extremely important, is it engages the BMS. The BMS is the battery management system and it's the brains of the battery. This thing handles the high and low charge disconnects, as well as all that proprietary stuff that Epic Batteries put so much into to make sure that this battery lasts. A key component to this battery as well with the BMS is the fact that it links up to a mobile app. And as you can see, you can go right through this mobile app. You can see the current charge status. You can see the health. And as you utilize this battery and utilize this app, you're really going to be in tune with how your battery is working and making sure that it's doing what it should do. So this comes into play as we're going to monitor these batteries as it's performing a dual role of cranking and deep cycle. So it takes a lot of that guesswork out. There are also Victron comms on this battery. You have the in and out, so this can interface with a whole host of other things. The positive and negative terminals on top, the standard waterproofing IP67, uh, just a solid construction of a battery. They're backed by an 11 year warranty and they wouldn't do that if this thing was junk. I wanted to jump on the Epic Batteries website to just review the battery with you real quick and show you exactly some of the features that they have listed on their website. So again to recap, it's the 12 volt 120 amp hour group 27 cranking and deep cycle lithium battery. What makes it the dual purpose is the fact that it is a cranking battery and a deep cycle battery. They open up right here with one of the most important lines that I've been waiting for since they mentioned this battery. 
Engine cranking battery, 1100 cold cranking amps compatible with all outboard motors up to 250 horse. There's a statement further down that talks more about this. Getting into the overview, obviously IP67 waterproofing for marine environments. You have your 6000 plus charge cycles, your internal heater. Uh, that's for charging in a cold environment. It'll heat up the mats to get the battery above freezing so that you don't damage the internals. You have your advanced BMS to handle all of the internals of the battery and protect them. So here in the description, it covers a couple of key ones. We basically have the different cranking battery amps at state of charge. Uh, the peak charge acceptance is 165 amps max for one minute. So if you have certain charging equipment, you want to make sure you stay within those parameters. The deep cycle battery is 150 amps max continuous discharge. Again, this is why we love the lithium batteries is they just provide constant power. The heat, the Bluetooth app comes on iOS and Android. You can monitor absolutely all the vitals of the battery. Then you have your Victron comms and CAN bus, which that ties you into a whole bunch of other things that you can plug into this battery and monitor and do. You have an external gauge touchscreen optional. Now that one is interesting. I haven't seen that yet. However, on the battery itself is a state of charge meter. So it's right there for you. So I don't know if you really need one external. Going further down, for those who are looking for the weight and the dimensions of the battery, we have 29.7 pounds. And this size is 12.1 inches by 6.6 .6 inches by 8.3 inches. Kind of a standard class 27 battery. Specifications, again, all the nitty gritty. You can get in here and look at all the different stats. But why I came to this site is mainly this section right here, the additional information. It goes down with the compatibility list. It talks about the different chargers that it likes to work with that are putting out the proper amperage and voltage. Then you get further down and this line right here is the most important I think on this entire page. Epic batteries have proprietary software embedded in the battery management system to make them 100% compliant with Mercury 250 horsepower motors and other leading brands. They have specifically designed these batteries to protect your motor and protect your investment. I haven't found too many other sites that will actually put that up there in writing. So just another reason these guys really do go above and beyond. Wrapping things up. Thanks for watching. Myths from Level Up Bassin. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about this at all, please put them in the comment. If I don't know the answers, I'll find you the answers. Looking forward to the season coming. I'll have this in the boat. I'll be doing more testing and getting you more videos. Have a great one. We'll catch you later.